yun. Magandang araw ulit mga kabarangay. Nandito na naman si Sir Pops ninyo making another video. Making another science video para sa ating mga estudyante sa grade 10. So, uh, today's topic is all about plate tectonics. No? Ito yung ating module. So, gagawa natin to ulit ng guide para makatulong sa ating mga bata. So, plate boundaries. Module 2, plate boundaries. Let's start. So, plate tectonics is a theory that explains the surface of the earth. It's broken into large and small lithospheric plates that are moving constantly and slowly. The size and position of these plates change as years pass by. So, if we are going to look very carefully at the definition, so, ang plate tectonics is just a theory na may mga evidence, no? So, it's a theory that yung lupa natin sa yung lupa natin yung mga continents natin yung lupa sa ilalim ng dagat ay gumagalaw constantly and very slowly so ito yung nagko-cause ng ating earthquake no yung, yung paggalaw na yon they move against each other at their edges causing intense geologic activity such as earthquakes volcanism and mountain building so ito yung nagko-cause in your previous lesson, sa nakaraang module ninyo, you are done with plate tectonics and its relationship to the distribution of earthquake epicenters, active volcanoes, and major mountain belts. Kung napanood nyo yung last video na ginawa natin, we actually relate, no? Pinag-aralan natin kung ano yung relationship ng distribution ng earthquake, epicenters, active volcanoes, and major mountain belts. Sabi natin doon sa video natin na kung saan may mga active volcanoes, meron kang earthquake. Kung saan may mga major mountain belts, meron kang earthquake. So, what's the reason behind this? No? Bakit kaya kung saan may mga volcano may lindol at may kahalindol? This module pro will provide you with information and activities that will help you understand plate boundaries. We have three types of plate boundaries. We have the divergent, convergent, and transform fault boundary. So, tatlong klase yung plate boundaries natin. After going through this module, you are expected to describe the different types of plate boundaries, differentiate the types of convergent boundaries, may type din ang convergent boundaries natin, and identify the places, plates that lie on the different types of boundaries. So, ito yung dapat na ma-achieve natin after studying this module. Now, I'm, I'm going to leave you the... Uh, pre-assessment, no? So, okay lang yan na, na hindi ka yung hindi masyadong masagutan. Okay lang yan. Pero, after reading the module, pag binalikan mo yan, dapat alam mo na yung mga questions dito. Okay, now, let's move on to the plate boundaries itself. So, if you're going to look at the map, pag-aralan natin yung mapa, ayan. Pag sinabi natin plate boundaries, ito yon yung mga lines, yan, boundaries yan, No? Ibig sabihin, parang ano, yung parang sa egg natin, pag naglaga ka ng itlog, tapos gusto mo nang kainin yung itlog, babasagin mo siya, ba So, similar to this, no? So, ganyan siya. Ayan. So, and then, may mga arrows ka na makikita. Meron tayong blue, may red tayo, at saka may black. So, ito yung type ng plate boundaries natin. So, pag sinabi natin plate boundaries, ito yung type ng paggalaw ng plates natin. No? Halimbawa, itong Philippine plate, ayan, kung nakita nyo yung Philippine plate, ito yun, maliit lang siya, maliit, and then we have the Pacific plate or the Pacific Ocean, ayan, nakita nyo yung Pacific Ocean. So, Philippine plate and Pacific plate are actually moving against each other, towards each other. So, nagbabanggaan silang dalawa, no? So, ganun din dito sa Eurasian plate, if you're going to study the map, ayan, magkasalubong sila. Ibig sabihin, dalawang napakalaking tipak ng lupa na nagbabanggaan. Okay, ang dami niyan, no? So, meron din dito sa baba, South American Plate and Nazca Plate. Ayan. Australian Plate, yung part ng Australian Plate, tsaka yung part ng Pacific Plate, nagbabanggaan din. Now, yung red, yung black arrows naman, ito naman yung nagsisimbolize ng plates na naghihiwalay. Imaginin mo yung dalawang napakalaking tipak ng lupa na naghihiwalay, pilit na naghihiwalay, no? Ayan siya. 
So, ang tawag naman natin dyan ay divergent plate boundaries. So, meron ditong Arabian plate. Naghihiwalay silang dalawa. Ayan. African plate and this one. So, we have the Nazca plate moving away from Pacific plate. Ayan. So, ito. Meron din dito. Ayan. Tapos, yung red naman. Ito yun. Ayan. So, this is very popular because this is what they call San Andreas Fault. Ayan. So, dalawang plate na nagkikiskisan. No? And, actually, this this part, this type of uh, plate boundary is the most dangerous type kasi delikado siya kasi malakas yung lindol na nakikreate niya. No? Dito sa part na to ng uh, mundo natin. The San Andreas Fault. So, very popular siya. Figure 1 shows large and small lithospheric plates, including the Philippine plate. These plates are moving very slowly but constantly. So, mabagal lang ang kanyang paggalaw, pero constant naman siya. Ibig sabihin, dire-diretso ang kanyang paggalaw. The movement of the plate is called tectonic. Di ba, kapag namabalita nyo sa mga balita, kapag may lindol, sasabihin nung, nung, ano, nung news anchor, tectonic ang paggalaw. So, ganun yung nangyayari. In module 1, you have learned about plate tectonics. In this module, you will learn how this plate tectonics affects the formation of different types of plate boundaries. Now, kung babalikan natin to, yung mga paggalaw na yan, meron niyang mga product o may mga resulta yan ng, ng kung bakit, kung halimbawa ito nagbabanggaan to, may result yan. Halimbawa ito naghihiwalay, may resulta yan. Ito nagkikiskisa, may resulta din. So, there is always a result. No? Now, let's move on. Below is an activity for you to recall what you have learned in module. Plate tectonics crossword puzzle. So, kailangan yung sagutin nyo to. The break in a rock along which plate, which movement have occurred. Ayan, nasa ano nyo yan? Nasa answer sheet nyo yan. Ayan. Okay? So, sagutin nyo yan. The innermost layer of the earth. Nandun din yan. Molten rocks. Anong tawag natin doon? Mount Pinatubo. Ano siya? Ayan. Now, let's go to the read me, understand me. Read the three plate boundaries, description, and characteristics. Understand what you are reading. So, kailangan basahin mabuti. Okay. Tulungan ko kayo magbasa. Plate boundaries are the lines at the edges of the different pieces of the lithosphere. Lithospheric plates are moving due to the convection current in the Earth's interior. The lithosphere is made up of the crust and upper part of the mantle. Ito, pinag-aralan natin to, di ba? Nung sa last video natin, Diniscuss din natin to na ano ang composition ng lithosphere. Ayan. There are two types of crust. The continental crust, which is thicker but less denser. And the oceanic crust, which is thinner and denser. So, continental crust, thicker but less dense. Kasi tuyo siya, hindi siya basa. No? Tapos, thicker kasi... Uh, Ang Mount Apo dito sa Pilipinas is considered as continental crust. So, ibig sabihin mataas siya. Siya yung pinakamataas na bundok. Ay, ano pa kayong pinakamataas na bundok dito sa planeta natin? Di ba, Mount Everest? So, makapal yung kanyang crust kasi pataas siya. And less dense kasi hindi naman siya basa. And oceanic crust, ang oceanic crust natin is thinner, manipis siya. Manipis lang yung oceanic crust natin kasi ang ibabaw niya ay tubig na. Kaya ocean, oceanic crust. And denser kasi nga basa, nasa ilalim siya ng tubig. According to the plate tectonic theory, the Earth's lithosphere consists of the crust and upper mantle that moves slowly and constantly over time. So, pakita natin kung ano yung uh, dito sa ano natin. No? Yung, ah, ano bang tawag doon? Uh, lithosphere. So, ayan, dito. Mas maganda yata ito. Lithosphere natin is composed of upper portion of the mantle and the crust itself. Ayan. Download na natin. Okay. Then, open natin. Show in folder. And then, open with picture. So, para maintindihan nyo kung ano yung ibig sabihin nung uh, lithosphere. Photos. 
Ayan. Pag tayo dito. Tayo na. Slowly. This movement cause this movement causes the formation of plate boundaries, namely divergent, convergent, and transform fault boundary. Okay. Let. Pakita lang uli natin. Now, this one. Ito yung nasa ilalim ng tubig. So, meron pa siyang manipis na crust. Ayan. Ang tawag natin dyan ay oceanic crust. At ito naman ay yung tinatawag nating upper portion of the mantle. Okay? Dito naman sa continental crust, ito yung ating continental. Kung mapansin nyo, makapal siya. Kasi may mga volcanoes, may mga bundok. And, and, ito naman yung ating uh, upper portion of the mantle. Ayan. So, kaya siya tinawag na ganyan. Okay? So, lithosphere ang tawag natin doon. Okay, let's move on. This movement causes the formation of the plate boundaries, namely, divergent, convergent, and transform fault boundaries. Now, divergent refers to the place, plates that separate and move apart in opposite direction, forming new lithosphere. The young seafloor, this either occurs at mid-ocean ridge, seafloor spreading, or at drifted continental margins or reef valley. So, divergent muna una natin. Kung babalikan natin yung map, meron dito, no? So, itong part na to ng mapa natin, ayan. This is Atlantic Ocean. Dagat po yan, ha? Dagat. Ayan. So, Atlantic Ocean is getting wider and wider because of the what we call divergent plate boundary. Ayan. Ito din, no? Wider, wider. Ito. So, bumubuka siya. Ayan. Divergent ang tawag natin doon. Okay, next dyan. Convergent plate boundaries are formed when two plates move towards each other. The oceanic plate bends downward at the subduction zone. This occur in the two of oceanic plates, convergent boundary and continental plate. Oceanic plate convergent boundary. Oceanic plate sinks because it is denser than the continental plate. In the case of convergence of two oceanic plates, the older plate sinks were as in the convergence of two continental plates they collide and buckle up forming mountain ranges no subduction occurs in this type of convergence so may papaliwanag natin yan transform fault boundaries or plates sliding past or slipping past each other now choose choose your answer from the given choices write your answer on a separate sheet what plate boundary is formed by the sliding of two plates ayan ka kasasabi lang dito no Sagot. Okay, what plate boundary is formed by moving the two plates apart? Dito po. Sagot. What plate boundary is formed by the collision of two plate boundaries? Diyan. Sagot. Okay. So, yung question 1 to 5, nandun po ang sagot. Kasi sabi niya, basahin daw. Okay, pag-aralan natin yung divergent boundary. Divergent boundary is formed when two tectonic plates move apart from each other creating tension. Ito po yun, ano? So, imaginein mo yung dalawang malaking tipak ng lupa na pilit na naghihiwalay. Ayan, dalawa siya, no? So, pag naghihiwalay siya, ibig sabihin, mako-open yung mantle sa ilalim and then may lalabas na sinatawag natin na magma. Ayan. Kaya, nagkakabang tayo ng tinatawag natin na underwater earthquake because of this type of movement. So, ito ay oceanic naghihiwalay. Molten rocks called magma to rise from the Earth's mantle to the surface. The, sur the Earth's surface is cool enough to solidify the magma that throws. So, tumitigas yung magma ayan, na lumalabas galing sa ilalim. Creating the, a new oceanic crust or seafloor. So, yung mga magma na lumabas dyan, yun yung bagong seafloor natin. Bagong lupa natin. A divergent boundary is also known as constructive boundary. Constructive kasi may bagong nabubuo. The mid-ocean ridge is formed by the divergence of between oceanic plates while continental rift valley is formed. Pag dalawang continents naman ang nagda-diverge o naghihiwalay. Ito kasi dalawa tong ano eh, dalawang oceanic crust. Pag continental crust naman ang naghihiwalay, makakabuo ka naman ng rift valley. Okay, 
Deep Valley can also be found at the bottom of the ocean. Pwede rin makita where seafloor spreading occurs. Both the formation of mid-ocean ridge and Reef Valley had the occurrence of an earthquake. Examples are boundaries between South American Plate and African Plate, Pacific Plate, and Nazca Plate, and North American Plate, and Eurasian Plate. So, tingnan natin ang example ng Reef, uh, ano ba yung tawag doon? Mid-Ocean Ridge, no? Maghanap tayo, maghanap tayo. Mid-Ocean Ridge. Hanap tayo. Ayan. Ayan po yung nangyayari, no? Uh, underwater. Ayan. So, kung makikita nyo itong example na to, ayan, dito pa lang po. So, this one, this one is a product of two plates diverging. Ayan, yung malaking parang ano na yan. Ito po. Ayan, mas malinaw dito. Ayan. So, naghihiwalay sila. So, ibig sabihin nagkakaroon ng space sa kanilang dalawa. Looking, the same example, ganun din dito. Naghihiwalay sila. Looking din dito. Ayan. So, they are actually spreading. Now, looking at this one, Ayan, ito po ang ating example ng mid-ocean ridge. Ayan po, ano? Divergent plate boundary. Ayan. Ito yung ating Atlantic Ocean na naghihiwalay. Ayan. Ayan po, yung ating example. Now, let's go to the convergent boundary. Sa convergent boundary, it is formed when two plates move towards each other. Tingnan yung arrow. Ayan, nagbabanggaan silang dalawa. This boundary has three types, oceanic plate to continental plate boundary, two oceanic plates boundary, and two continental plates boundary. So, para matandaan nyo ito, uh, oceanic C, C to O, or O to C, C to C, and O to O. Parang ganon. No? Oceanic to continental, oceanic to oceanic, and continental to continental plate. Nagbabanggaan. So, may iba't ibang resulta ha. For example, this one, sa picture na to. Ayan natin. Ayan. Dito sa picture na to. Oceanic plate converging with continental plate. Kung makikita nyo to, ah, nag-subduct siya, no? Yung oceanic plate nung nakipagbanggaan siya kay continental plate, nagsubduct yung oceanic plate. Ibig sabihin, pumailalim. No? Pumailalim siya. So, hindi lang siya basta papailalim, magkakaroon niya ng after effects. So, lahat ng magma na natutunaw, ayan, lahat po ng plate na natutunaw, hindi naman lahat, no? Yung mga plates na natutunaw, na pumailalim, ay matutunaw at magiging magma. Siya naman ngayon, yung aakyat pataas, and then eventually, it will build a volcano. So, hundreds of years or thousands of years ang inaabot bago makagawa ng volcano. Now, imagine Philippines, kung ano nangyari sa Pilipinas. ba? Diba? So, hindi tayo product ng continental to oceanic plate convergence. But, our country is a product of oceanic plate to oceanic plate convergence. Okay? Ayan. So, litan natin. Sana naintindihan niyo yung paliwanag ko. Okay. So, let's have this explanation. Okay. Subduction. Ito na po. Subduction. The leading edge of subducted plate melts in the mantle. So, ito yung sinasabi niya. The leading edge. Ito yung leading edge natin. No? Leading edge. leading edge ng ating magma. Ayan, leading edge. And, magma rises forming a continental volcanic arc and oceanic to continental plate. So, always remember that if oceanic plate and continental plate uh, converge with one, another, with one another or collide with one another, magkakaroon tayo ng 
volcano. So, yun yung magiging product natin. While in the two oceanic plate boundary, island volcanic chain is formed. Ayan. Punta naman natin yung oceanic to oceanic convergent. Kung ano yung mabubuo. Oceanic to oceanic. Wala kasing ano eh. Walang picture eh. Okay, tingnan natin to. Pag-aralan natin tong picture. Now, this is this is oceanic crust, ayan. And this is also oceanic crust. So ibig sabihin dalawang oceanic crust na nagbanggaan or nag-collide or nag-converge. So kung mapansin niyo, yung isang part ng oceanic crust ay nagsubduct. Ganun pa rin ang mangyayari. Matutunaw yung kanyang yung part ng leading edge niya. And then, it will become a volcano sa ilalim ng tubig. And then, it will become an island arc. Ayan. Parang nangyari sa Pilipinas, no? So, ayan. So, ito po yung nangyayari kapag nagbabanggaan. Siyempre, ang resulta nito, kapag gumagalaw yung lupa natin, earthquake pa rin, no? Earthquake pa rin ang result. Tapos, meron kang volcanic island arc. Oceanic to oceanic convergence. Now, what will happen if we have a continental plates converging? Converging. Okay, converging. A compression zone is formed. Both plates collide and buckle up, causing mountain range such as the Himalayas mountain range. There is no subduction, no trench, no volcanoes form in this type of boundary. Now, let's see naman kung ano naman ang example ng Continental to continental. Na? Continental to continental convergence. Let's see. Ito. So, sa continental to continental naman, wala kang volcanoes na mabubuo, but magkakaroon tayo ng tinatawag nating mountains. Ayan. Mountains naman ang mabubuo. Ayan. So, halimbawa, continental crust to continental crust. So, nagbabanggaan sila and then meron kang mabubuong mountain. So, walang magsasabdak, walang matutunaw. Parang clay, parang kumuha ka ng clay tapos Pagdikitin mo siya, di ba, nagpo-push upward yung isa sa taas. Nagpo-push downward naman yung sa baba. Siyempre, no? Nagbu nagbubuo siya ng uh, pressure pataas. Ayan. So, ito yung nangyari sa Himalayas natin. No? Kaya medyo mahaba yung bundok na yan. Kasi continental to continental convergence siya. Siyempre, dahil gumagalaw, may product pa rin yan ng earthquake and mountain range. Okay. Transform fault boundary. Transform fault boundary is formed when two plates are sliding past each other. It is also called the strike-slip fault. Rocks that line the boundary split into pieces as the plates slip at each other. A crack is then formed, creating an undersea canyon or linear fault valley. San Andreas Fault is an example of this. Ayan yun. So, ito medyo delikado kasi ito na yung stack. No? Halimbawa, may nai-stack siya. So, dapat yearly gumagalaw siya. So, minsan, sa isang taon, hindi siya gumagalaw kasi nga nai-stack. Ngayon, pag pumitik siya, malaki ang damage na magagawa nito sa mga tao sa taas. Ito yung nangyayari. Kaya, ito yung very destructive type of uh, earthquake. No? Ang tawag natin dito ay transform fault boundary. Get a ruler, pen, and draw a table like the one. Ito, hindi na kayo magdodraw kasi meron na nito sa answer sheet. Ayan, sagutin nyo lang to. Example. So, sa example, ang ilalagay nyo, yung nandito sa map. Yung nandito sa map. Diba? Ayan. Kuha lang kayo ng dalawang plate, tapos hanapin nyo dyan. Yung, yan yung bali may giging example. Now, 
uh, use a separate sheet. Ah. Hindi na kayo gagamit ng separate sheet kasi may answer key na. Lahat ito nandun. No? Ayan, sasag sasagutan nyo siya. And then, types of convergent plate boundaries. Ito yan. Assessment 2. This is very important. Sasagutan nyo rin ito. Find the boundary on the map. The seven major plates or applicant plate. Ayan. So, meron kayo nito. So, kung naintindihan nyo yung pagbabasa ng module with the help of this video, wala kayo magiging problema. Kayang-kaya nyo yung sagutan. Remember, dear students in grade 10, lalo na sa school namin, gagamitin, chichikan po natin itong uh, assessment, no? Chichikan natin siya para basihan sa inyong grades. Ayan po yung ating magiging basis. Kung may naintindihan talaga kayo sa module, oops, may answer key. So, kung hindi pa po kayo nakaka-subscribe sa channel ko, please subscribe to my channel. At kung may mga questions kayo about dito sa topic na to, pwede niyo akong i-PM or i-comment sa comment section ng aking, ng, ng video na to. No? So, keep watching, keep learning. Maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. And God bless us all. See you on my next video. Thank you.